Scene Script Have you ever wondered what lies beneath the vast oceans? It's a question that has sparked curiosity and fueled exploration for centuries. Yet, despite our best efforts, we've only begun to scratch the surface of these underwater worlds. Even in this age of advanced technology, about 80% of our planet's oceans remain uncharted, unseen by human eyes. Imagine the wonders that must lie in that unexplored abyss. The ocean floor is not simply a flat, sandy plain but a dynamic and complex landscape. It's teeming with towering underwater mountains known as seamounts, some of which dwarf even the highest peaks on land. The ocean's depths are also marked by deep trenches, the deepest of which plunges almost 7 miles beneath the surface. Scattered across the ocean floor you'll find sprawling underwater valleys known as abyssal plains, which are punctuated by dramatic cliffs and ridges. These vast plains are the most common topographic feature of the ocean floor, yet they remain one of the least understood due to their inaccessibility. And then there are the hydrothermal vents, spewing out superheated water loaded with minerals. These vents, often referred to as black smokers, create a unique and extreme environment that supports a wealth of life forms, many of which are found nowhere else on Earth. But let's imagine for a moment, what if we could drain the oceans? What would the naked seafloor look like? The thought is as intriguing as it is mind-boggling. If we could drain our oceans, we'd unveil a world as fascinating and diverse as the one we live above. It would be like opening a book filled with new chapters of Earth's history, waiting to tell stories of geological changes, climate shifts, and perhaps even traces of our own human history. So as we delve into this thought experiment, remember that every drop of seawater holds a mystery, every trench a secret, and every unexplored corner a potential discovery. If we could drain our oceans, we'd unveil a world as fascinating and diverse as the one we live above. Imagine standing at the edge of the Mariana Trench, the deepest part of the ocean. The Mariana Trench is a truly awe-inspiring spectacle, a crescent-shaped scar in the Earth's crust that plummets down over seven miles into the depths. If you were to compare it to Mount Everest, the world's tallest mountain, you'd find that even if you placed Everest at the bottom of the trench, its peak would still be over a mile beneath the waves. It's a world that is as alien to us as the surface of another planet. This trench isn't just a chasm of darkness and pressure, it's teeming with life, with creatures that have adapted to thrive in some of the most extreme conditions on Earth. In the inky blackness, where the sun's rays cannot penetrate, bioluminescent beings create a shimmering spectacle. Creatures such as the fangtooth fish, with its oversized teeth and hinged jaw, or the goblin shark, which can project its jaw out of its mouth to snatch up prey, call this place home. There are also tiny organisms known as foraminifera that create intricate shells of calcium carbonate. These delicate structures pile up over millennia, creating the very floor of the trench. The Mariana Trench is also home to the deepest living octopus nicknamed Casper due to its ghost-like appearance. And let's not forget the mysterious and elusive Mariana Snailfish, the current title holder for the deepest living fish known to man. This gelatinous creature with its translucent skin and eel-like body was discovered at a whopping depth of about 26,700 feet. Draining the oceans would not just reveal the Mariana Trench in all its profound depth and glory, it would expose a world of creatures that have evolved in isolation, in a realm where the pressure is a thousand times greater than at sea level, and where the temperature hovers just above freezing. Draining the oceans would reveal such unimaginable depths but that's not all we'd find. It would unveil a realm that remains one of the least explored and most mysterious places on our planet. What about the countless shipwrecks and relics lost to the sea? Imagine if you will, a world without oceans. Suddenly the ocean floors are laid bare and with them, a trove of sunken treasures emerges from the deep. These aren't just gold and gems but time capsules, frozen moments from our past that have been swallowed by the waves. Take for instance the Titanic. This ill-fated ship, once the largest moving object built by mankind, now rests two and a half miles beneath the surface of the North Atlantic Ocean. If the oceans were drained we'd see it in its entirety, a ghostly monument to human ambition and folly. And then there's the Spanish galleon San Jose, known as the Holy Grail of Shipwrecks. Sunk in 1708 off the coast of Colombia, it was laden with gold, silver and precious stones worth billions today. If the oceans were drained, it would be like opening a time capsule from the age of exploration, offering us an unprecedented look into the past. Let's not forget about the countless other shipwrecks, each with their own stories to tell. 
The Antikythera shipwreck, for instance, gave us the world's first known analog computer, a device so advanced it's often described as the world's first computer. Who knows what other technological wonders are waiting to be discovered? But it's not just about the treasures. These shipwrecks offer a glimpse into our past, into human history and culture. They tell stories of exploration, war, trade, and migration. They offer insights into the lives of those who lived and often died aboard these vessels. These sunken treasures would provide us with a unique glimpse into our past. From the grandeur of the Titanic to the wealth of the San Jose, from the ancient technology of Antikythera to the countless other shipwrecks scattered across the ocean floors, each one is a chapter in the story of humanity. A story that, if the oceans were drained, we'd finally be able to read in its entirety. The ocean floor is a geological marvel waiting to be discovered. Imagine a world where the vast blue expanse of the ocean is no more, and all that remains is a barren landscape revealing the mysteries of the deep. This would be a world where we could really appreciate the geological wonders that lie beneath the surface of our oceans. The ocean floor is home to an array of geological features that most of us can only dream of. One such feature is underwater volcanoes, also known as submarine volcanoes. These are fissures in the Earth's surface from which molten lava flows. These volcanic eruptions often go unnoticed, quietly shaping the ocean floor and creating new land masses. The most famous of these is the Hawaiian Islands, which were born out of underwater volcanic activity. Another fascinating geological feature is the hydrothermal vents. These are essentially underwater geysers that spew out mineral-rich water heated by the Earth's magma. These vents are hotspots of life, supporting unique ecosystems that thrive in the harshest conditions. They are a testament to the resilience of life and the wonders of our planet. These geological features are not just visually stunning, they play a crucial role in shaping our planet. Underwater volcanoes contribute to the creation of new land masses and islands, influencing the geography of our world. Hydrothermal vents on the other hand, play a critical role in the ocean's chemistry. They release minerals into the water, providing essential nutrients for marine life. Exposing these features by draining the oceans would be like lifting the veil on a secret world, we would get a first-hand look at the process of island formation through volcanic activity. We would witness the raw power of hydrothermal vents and the ecosystems they support. It would be a chance to marvel at the intricate processes that have shaped our planet over millions of years. Draining the oceans would expose these awe-inspiring geological wonders. It would be like turning the pages of Earth's geological history, revealing the secrets of our planet's past, present, and future. But what would happen to all the marine life? Imagine, for a moment, the ocean floor laid bare, a world once teeming with life, suddenly silent. The oceans you see are not just vast bodies of water, they are the cradle of life, the heart of our planet's biodiversity. The marine ecosystem is a complex web, delicately balanced and finely tuned. Each creature, from the tiniest plankton to the largest whale, has a role to play. Draining the oceans would disrupt this balance leading to catastrophic consequences, fish, crustaceans, mollusks and countless other species would be left homeless. Many would perish, resulting in an ecological disaster of unimaginable proportions. And it's not just about the marine creatures, the oceans serve as a crucial buffer, absorbing carbon dioxide and helping to regulate our planet's climate. Without them, we'd be at the mercy of extreme weather patterns and rising global temperatures. Furthermore, our oceans are the world's largest source of protein, feeding billions of people worldwide. Without them, global food security would be threatened. So yes, draining the oceans might reveal a world of sunken treasures and geological wonders. We might uncover secrets of the deep, hidden for centuries beneath the waves. But this fascinating world would come at a great cost. A cost that we, as a global community, cannot afford to pay. Draining the oceans might reveal a fascinating world but at a great cost. From the Mariana Trench to sunken treasures, the ocean holds many secrets. We've journeyed through the undiscovered depths, uncovered geological wonders and pondered the impact of a drained ocean on life. It's clear that our oceans are not just bodies of water but critical components of our planet's life system. Their mysteries are as profound as their importance. So, let's appreciate and protect these vast, vital water bodies. If you liked this video, subscribe to our channel and like it, it's important to